It's the gamer's dilemma, Xbox One or PlayStation 4. I will declare a winner. Hi, I'm Molly Wood from the New York Times, and I've been at home playing video games all week to see whether the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 is the best console you can buy. Let's start with the Xbox One. Now, as the name implies, the Xbox One is sort of a do-it-all, all-in-one kind of box. It plugs into your cable or satellite box, so you can actually use it as your TV system. It also includes the Kinect motion and sound sensing camera, so that means that you can play motion control games, but you can also control your TV and your Xbox using either motion or your voice. Xbox Go To TV. Now the voice stuff is totally magical when it works. One guide. Watch Bravo. Watch Bravo. Xbox, watch Bravo. Ooh, that worked. It's like a lot of work. It's like training a puppy. The Xbox One is big, heavy, and kind of ugly. Setup is so complicated. Even the games often require huge downloadable updates before you can even play. Now on to the PlayStation 4, the darling of hardcore gamers everywhere. Setup on this thing is a breeze. The games themselves, the console menus, everything is fast, simple, and easy to use. You can plug it in and be up and playing games in five minutes flat. It's crazy. You're just like, pew, pew, battlefield, go. The controller is especially wonderful. It's super comfortable and it recharges, so you never have a battery crisis. And then in terms of design, the PS4 is much smaller and much better looking than the Xbox One. The PS4 doesn't have the live TV integration that the Xbox has, but it has plenty of streaming media options and they're almost all free to access. Microsoft makes you pay $60 a year to access all that streaming media like Netflix or Amazon Video On Demand. Now on the downside, you don't get any kind of motion sensing camera with the PS4. There's an add-on you can buy for $60, but it's not very good. On the upside though, the PS4 is $100 cheaper than the Xbox One. There is one big downside to both consoles. You can't play any of your old games on the new boxes. And there aren't very many new games to choose from. That's pretty common with new gaming consoles, but it means it could be 2015 before you have lots of new games. If you're looking to buy right now though, for my money, the PlayStation 4 is the clear winner. It is simple, it's easy to use, it's cheaper than the Xbox One, and most importantly, it is fun. Isn't that the whole point? Oh, come on! Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Out of ammo.